co-main event, Drakkar Close against Jeremy Stevens. This is a mouth-watering. I always think yeah. Drakkar Close has got so many more fights than he's had. He's had that many cancelled. It probably bot boxes there. That's true. Like, so he's supposed to fight Jai. Yeah. Got That got cancelled. Yeah. Louis Pena stepped up and then Drakkar's corner tested positive for COVID. Oh, that was it. Man, you'd feel bad as a corner man, would. wouldn't you? I'd feel so bad getting yeah. that. Oh, after yeah. all of that and your corner, it's not even you that test. Uh, there we go. Never mind. Yeah, be gutted. Explosive. Times that, the times that right hand really nicely, doesn't he? Mm -hmm. But you you can correct me if I'm wrong, but finally striking a bit rudimentary compared to the top, you know, the top boys in that division. Yeah. I, I think this is where it becomes weighted on Jeremy Stevens' side because Drakkar Close is like Jeremy Stevens a few years ago. When Jeremy Stevens came into the UFC and he was like, it was like, let's let's go, you know what I mean? And everything was like every every time he stepped into range, it was about it was about unloading as much as possible. There was a lot of emotion coming through, which as he's as he's developed into his game and matured, he started to manage that much mm. better. And now obviously You can't you know, fight that forever, can you? Can't, you? No, you it's can't. exhausting. Especially when, you know, like Jeremy Stevens trains alongside um uh, Dom Cruz, doesn't he? So he's you know, you can imagine I remember the the influence that Dom Cruz had on Ross when he was there as well. Mm. I, I think that there's been a lot of positivity gained by being in that gym with those guys, but specifically watching other fighters and how they create success in the octagon. Yeah, because he's a bit of a Mike Perry. Like he, like yeah. I mean, that's a good, that's a good, a good comparison. Like Mike Perry is in a Jeremy Stevens kind of situation. Maybe even Mike Perry would do well to go over to Alliance. Mm. They need like. All the physical attributes, the raw aggression, the, the the desire to throw heavy hands. It just needs to be managed and channeled a bit, mm. which is exactly what he's got at Alliance. And I think yeah. I think that understanding of how to apply what he's got instead of just trying to apply it best he can. I, I, I think that's that's the difference in this fight for me with the fact just that he's streamlining a bit and yeah. yeah. Like he he'll think calf kick when Drakkar close, he'll think I'm gonna try and take your head off. Mm. And that calf kick, calf kick, and then he then he puts the rest of his yeah, game together. Then the head's there to be took off. Mm. It, it's weird, they're only a year apart, but they're <coughs> so vastly different in terms in terms of experience. You Ridiculous. can't believe they're a year apart, can no. you? No, I won't be able to. I, like, but that's that's what I said. Like when I think of Drakkar close, I always imagine him to have had more fights than he has. But I thought this was young buck versus old buck. Like Pat changing the guard thing until yeah. I, until I looked into it. Yeah, I mean the, the thing is when he when he twenty eight and eighteen for for Jeremy Stevens, it's a bit like it's a bit like how did you manage this camp? Like, are you battle hardened or are you battle fatigued? That's a good point. You know what I mean? Like we talk, we've talked about this a lot, and we, you talk about it in team sports as well in terms of pre seasons. Is like I can get you to the the game fresh but we won't have done enough work. I can beast you, but you're not going to be fresh enough to, to, to play and compete at the right level. And the same thing in camp, right, is mm. you're constantly, you've constantly got that balance of knowing you need to do X amount of work. But if I, if I degrade your freshness too much and you can't come back up, then you're going to perform down here. Mm. When we, you know, we could drop this a little bit and then you're going to perform at your, at your best. Yeah. Um, I mean, that's, yeah, basically my job in a in a thirty second <laughs> in a thirty second audio. Yeah, you know what you're doing. Eh? But yeah, there you go. Yeah. But, but that's it. It's like a good I think point. I think if they, you know, but then you how think much, that's so fine. much experience. He's exactly. been there. He's seen all of the pictures he needs to see. How much do you need to do? Exactly, and, and that's and that would be my thought. Would be he's, he's found that stage. He's, he's got to that stage mm. already in his career now. Like he, he's turned that corner where he understands how to put himself through a training camp and not take too much out of the tank. I, I mean, at this streak that he's on, he's, he's, he's very unfortunate. But I still feel like he's having good performances in these fights. Um, I mean, you know, he's, he lost to Calvin Case. That was a beautifully timed elbow. He just walked onto that. Like, he's losing to Aldo, body yeah. punch to Aldo. And, you know, and the, the whole thing with the eye poke against Rodriguez was... Aldo can throw a body punch. Can he hell, yeah. For sure. Yeah. It's a, yeah. Good, it's a, it's a really big opportunity for Drakkar Close, who has the possibility of adding a name like Jeremy Stevens to his record, who's maybe not the Jeremy Stevens he was of two years ago. it still say Jeremy Stevens on the record. still say Jeremy yeah. Stevens. Yeah. And it will still probably be a war and Drakkar Close might have the intensity and 
and it's probably got a bit more pop. Wear. Yeah. It's probably got a bit more pop. <laughs> Maybe than, especially than Stevens at, these days. at the minute. Yeah. I mean, yeah. Stevens throws from from right back behind him. Mm. I, I, th- I think it's a barn burner. I think that's why they put it in co main event. Mm. Absolutely. Which way are you going? Um, shit. <gasps> um, I think I'm gonna go Jeremy Stevens. Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. How long we got? A little while, not too okay. long. We're good Great. though. Yeah. So, what do you think? I actually think Jeremy Stevens might be able to manage this fight, and he mm. might be able to catch Drakkar Close being a little overzealous. I've not, not been blown not away by Close. Right? Yeah. I've not been like, watch out. I, I don't necessarily see Jeremy Stevens hurting him to stop him with strikes, but I could see him hurting him and clamping onto a neck, a guillotine mm. or something like that. But I mean, Drakkar Close is in- incredibly difficult to to stop. Aside from that, to uh, that most recent one, he is he is a, a very tough individual. He takes a shot very well. He's very mm. he's braced to take a shot very well a lot of the time. But I do think if Jeremy Stevens is able to catch him and make him a bit vulnerable, might be able to. He's doing all right against um, Darius, you know, and yeah. then, until he got caught, like he was landing. Mm. But that's that's what I mean. He does get a bit overzealous and a yeah. bit excitable, which Jeremy Stevens used to, and you might be able to see that quality mm. in him. Yeah. I'm 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 leaning slightly towards Jeremy Stevens, yeah. but I expect that to be a be one of the fights of the night. 